This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It's a joy to come and share with you these devotional moments. For just a moment, I want to look at Noah. No man on earth was ever more helpless than Noah. He was on a boat without a chart or a compass, without a sail or rudder. The ark floated. He knew not where. And the future held. He knew not what. Noah was utterly helpless. If you get to Genesis chapter 8, verse 1, it says, But God remembered Noah. Uh, Noah, at a time when there was no one else to depend upon, he could depend on God. God remembered. That's a great consolation to every child of God to know in times like these we have a God who remembers. It is one of the things said again and again throughout Scripture that God remembers. Genesis 8 and 1 says God remembered Noah. Genesis 19 and 29 says God remembered Abraham. Genesis 30 and 22 says God remembered Rachel. 1 Samuel 1 and 19 says God remembered Hannah. The God who remembered Noah will remember you. The memory that did not forget Noah is the same memory that will not forget nor forsake you and me. We can take great confidence in the fact that we have a God who remembers. God remembers His own Word. The Bible we read over and over again in that Bible where it says God remembered His covenant. God remembered His, His Word. In Exodus chapter 2 it says God remembered His covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and Jacob. In Egypt, in bondage, the Israelites cried out to God and wept and groaned. They may have felt as though God did not hear their groanings or care about their sorrows, but God did hear and God did care. And in Exodus 6 and 5, God sends Moses to tell his people, I have heard your groanings and I have remembered my covenant. God hears, God cares, and God remembers. To the most casual Bible reader, it should be apparent that God honors His Word and He remembers His, His Word. Scripture teaches, Psalms 119, verse 8 and 9, that forever, O Lord, Thy Word is settled in heaven. Isaiah says the grass withers, the flower fadeth, but the word of God shall stand forever. Scripture says heaven and earth may pass away, but the word of our God will stand forever. What God promises, He always remembers to do. When He makes a promise, He never goes back on it. Thank God that He remembers his word and he always honors his word and wherever you are in life today whatever you may be experiencing or going through no matter how dark it is and in those dark hours the devil has a way of slipping up and he begins to whisper in your ear and he'll try and make you believe that God has forgotten about you but the word of God says God remembers. That's good news. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for being a God who always remembers His Word. We thank you for being a God who will always honor His Word, that you will do all that you've promised 
to do in your word. Bless us now, strengthen us now, and help us to stand on your word. For we pray and we ask it all in the wonderful name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Let me remind you of our prayer calls on Wednesday mornings at 7 a.m. and then again Saturday evenings at 6 p.m. Also, on Sunday mornings at 8.30, our Sunday school review, followed by 9 a.m. worship. And that Sunday school review and worship is for in-person as well as those who will be a part of our live streaming worshipers. God bless you and you have a great day.